I guess, um, my years of service. I, I'm, I'm totally floored by it, actually. I didn't think that that, I thought I would, was going to be like everyone else, but not a lifetime. And I have been involved in my community from the time I moved there in 1980. So that's, you know, quite a long time and beyond. And so you've sat on, you've volunteered for 20 different, more than 20 different positions? Over many years. I ran the Chamber of Commerce from 1985 and retired in 2006. Prior to that, I was a stay-at-home mom, was very involved in my church, my children's school, whether they were elementary school, high school, whatever, the cancer society. I had a petition around town in 1983, I guess it was, for toll-free dialing to Toronto from Aurora. And that was presented in Parliament at the time by the Honourable Sinclair Stevens, which gave Aurora toll-free dialing to um, the city. Also, um, Neighbourhood Watch, I brought that program into Aurora. So yes, I mean, over the years, the Cancer Society and those kinds of organizations. Once I started working at the chamber, it was a full-time position, and I just didn't have the time, except church things and more minor stuff. Yeah. Why? Why do you volunteer? I like giving back to my community. I was brought up in South America, and I had what I would deem to be a rather privileged type of upbringing. And uh, there were many people in that environment that were needy. And my parents were always very conscious of that. And I grew up in that environment of giving back and helping others. And I guess, you know, when I got older, that meant a lot to me to give back. Why should others do the same? Exactly for those reasons. To make a difference in someone else's life, whether it be your time, um, monetarily, whatever. If you can help someone in their time of need, then why not? I think it all makes for a better world, rather than a world that we live in today where everybody's fighting and, you know, just out for themselves. I mean, you see it even driving around on the streets. You know, they cut you off. Uh, Thanks, congratulations. Thank you very much. Talk soon. Thanks for coming. You know, that type of thing. I think it makes for a better world if you're conscious of what's around you and people in need. I'd love to see other people succeed. If I could help someone else, it makes my world. And it just brightens everybody's day, including the people, the recipients. And if I could do help one person, and that person helps another person, it's just an ongoing, beautiful thing. Tell me about what it means to be honored through portraits of giving. So what? What does it mean to be honored through portraits of giving? Oh my God, totally unexpected, but well received. I bought my whole family here. They're all very proud, and so am I. And uh, you know what? It's, it, it is a wonderful thing, just the fact that I was nominated and had no no expectations of anything.